Hello, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and today we're going to talk lenses for your Sigma FP camera. And my new favorite lens, well, any of you guys that know me, I love zoom lenses. I do like prime lenses, but I do like zoom lenses because I like their reach and their usability. And my new favorite lens for the Sigma FP camera has to be this Panasonic 24 to 105 full frame zoom lens. And uh, it is a fantastic lens. It's very sharp. Uh, it works really well. It's a constant aperture f4 wide open all the way through the zoom range, f4 to f22. And it has a fantastic feature, and that is it features optical image stabilization, as you can see right there. And that is something you really want to use on your Sigma FP, especially if you're shooting handheld, because the camera does not have any built-in stabilization. No IBIS. So you need stabilized lenses if you're going to shoot handheld. But as you can see, it works really well. This camera has minimal rolling shutter, almost none. And when you're shooting handheld with it, with an optically stabilized lens, it works really well. So some shots here in the studio. This is zoomed in all the way. And what I wanted to see is how this lens performed unscientifically. Now we're in super 35 crop mode. It's really cool that the camera can do this. So we are now uh, about a 1.5 times crop in, and you can see it looks really sharp and clear. I've been using the crop mode quite a bit, and it works really well. Uh, back to some shots outside, and you can see this lens does a really fine job. Uh, it's a really, really nice lens. I think it comes in around $1,300 as of this video. Uh, I shot some stills with it too, and it, uh, it it performed really well, very sharp and clear, and it has a 77 millimeter filter thread, which is not too bad. Uh, like I said before, though, um, I am looking for a cage for it, um, which I'm sure will be coming out very soon. Now, here's a shot at 6400 ISO with the lens wide open at f4, and I know a lot of people are going to say, well, you know, you'd really want a faster lens out there, but you have to remember on a full frame camera, you're really going to have shallow depth of field, so your point of focus, uh, anything, you know, uh, 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 before or behind it is going to be out of focus, so really for this, f4 is fine. And here is the 40,000 ISO shot, very low light when I did this, it was in my first video. And you can see it does a really good job. All these shots are straight out of the camera, no color correcting or anything like that, just straight images so you can see them. Here's some shots at the auto show. Uh, most of the time the lens was wide open at f4 and you can see it does a really good job uh, You know, I like it. it it performed really well and of course, you know being able to zoom the lens I was able to get my compositions really well now to make the camera a little easier to hold the camera does come with This hot shoe adapter in the basic kit So when you're using that I did have it attached when I was at the auto show Kind of made the camera a little bit easier to hold but about halfway through the show I took it off uh, because it's really not, uh, you know, while it made the camera a little bit wider, I think once a cage comes along, I, I think that's going to be the best bet. But, you know, keep in mind, you know, this is not a lens that you're going to put on your gimbal or anything like that. You're going to want to use some kind of prime lens, so it's really not for that. You know, it makes the camera really front heavy. But, um, like I said, it is uh, my favorite lens for the camera and certainly worth checking out. If you're thinking about a good zoom lens with image stabilization, I think this is it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And be sure to check into my channel frequently for more videos on this camera and other things. Thank you very much.